yellow, y'all. Back again. I'm back again. What? Just Sorry about that. They talk in the background. I'm having waffles and chicken. I got some uh, okra, too. But, yeah, I'm having waffle and chicken. That's what I had a taste for today. Oh, yeah, I think I put my butt on there. Some waffles and chicken. We're going to see how that goes. Yeah. What's those library movies? Huh? Where the library movies at? I can't find them. you know where the library movies Go look in her room. What room? Go. The room you sleep in. I love me some syrup. I kept on finding the movies. So you put, oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let this. You gotta see how to make that easy bake, easy, no bake cake, uh, cheesecake. How many y'all go back to work? Mm. 
How many of y'all gone back to work already? Oh, is it just? I know some stuff opening up. Do y'all like okra and ketchup or okra and syrup? Yeah, but I yeah, some people is going back to work. I thought four weeks will open up first, so I don't know if they are or not. Uh -huh. Cut off some of my hair, but that's okay. As long as you can see me. So how many of y'all eat waffles and uh, chicken? I don't eat it often. At all. Too much. I can't wait to get my camera back. <coughs> well, what are y'all going to do once y'all can able to get back out there besides go to work or y'all going to go shopping? What have y'all been really waiting for? To get back out there for? I know some of their job. But besides your job, what is your hurry to get back out in the world so quick? To see family or... I go shopping. Because I don't think it's really over yet until people quit getting sick. That's when I feel it's over. It's when the people quit getting sick. And they find a cure for it. I'm going to wait a while when they tell us we can go back. But I don't know think it'll be the same. It's going to always be different. So I don't want it to be the same. I would like for it to be better. A lot better. Now you think about what was all going on before all this happened.
I don't think that the situation was set by God. No. The teacher lesson, no. He's not going to ever let us suffer. But he will, will, you pray, protect you, protect you at all times. I think it's man-made. They got out of hand. Or the one who did it just didn't really care. Yeah. So just be careful when you go out there. Just be careful. Ooh. How many y'all like this syrup? And believe it or not, I'm full. Two pieces of chicken, one waffle. This is over with. I'm, you know, I got to get on the um, exercise side and start exercising and losing it. But the diet that I was on before all this happened, it was really working. But I quit. It was too much, too much, too much interfering with that. Plus, the people that I was on it with quit. They quit, and then I kept hearing they quit, and so I was like, at this time, I was in a lot of, I was losing a lot of weight, because I know I was about 200 and some pounds. I don't know how much I am right now. Yeah, I'm about 200. And how many y'all kept y'all doctor's appointment during this time? Did you protect yourself going to the hospital for your appointment to your doctor's office? And did y'all doctors do everything they supposed to to keep y'all safe and keep themselves safe? I pray for the doctors and the nurses and pray for everybody, but especially the ones who put themselves on the line and then the ones who didn't really have a choice but to work. I prayed for them. And then I prayed for the ones that were sick with it. With this stuff. Because it hit so quick. It hit very quick. So. You know what? But I one thing I tell you this stuff done. It brought everybody to the Lord. And I like that. Because at first, you know, you be thinking to God. Oh, everybody is just... Uh, evil and mean because there was so much mean stuff going on in the world different stuff was going on y'all know what I'm talking about there was just so much going on in the world but this put a stop to it I think I think this put a stop to a lot of that uh, it's just it's just a lot it may give you time to think what you should do, what you shouldn't do. I'm gonna, I think next week I'm going to start painting. Yeah, I stay in an apartment and I'm going to start a painting. Painting, decorating rooms, get back on track. Just hold on to God and keep the prayers going. Just live your normal life besides normal, going back and forth to stores and stuff. But some people, I don't know. If uh, they're able to go to stores like they should. Because some, at Walmart, I see some people are on YouTube. Well, not YouTube. Facebook. They have to stand in a line. Then I hear that a lot of Walmart employees was dying. I was like, Lord Jesus. It was a lot. A lot going on. But all you could do is pray for them. And hope for the best. 
rest of these babies and stuff and kids and everything. Just keep everything uplifted. And how is everybody's work day? How did y'all do today? Hard day? Good day? Hard and good day? Or just a terrible, just a terrible day? I don't know. And with school, with school being out, have y'all found somebody to watch your kids or... Do you have to actually take off the ones who have to go to work and have kids and nobody to watch them? I'm just wondering what you have to do to have somebody to watch your kids and make sure they're safe. I'm going to a safe environment and stuff. I swear, I think I'm losing some because my face get longer. It feels, looks so longer. You know how your face change when you start losing weight? It also change when you get older, too. I'll probably start wearing makeup. Got my hair a little fix the stuff. This is... Well, for my glasses to lace it down. When I was younger, I did not like this forehead. It was a, I still don't like it today. That's why you see, I always see something up there. Oh, I don't care about the camera cutting my head off. I really don't. Ooh. So. Leave in the comments how y'all doing and. How this situation <laughs> change your life, your family life, the way you think, the way you judge others. Leave a comment, you know, those comments. Because I wonder how many, I want to know how many people, you know, changed because of this. And we're going to be getting more upbeat. We're not going to, uh, in the next video, I would not be talking about this virus that's going around. Even though, it's, you know, I want to uh, think of something positive, something fun to do, something fun to talk about. And tell me, what is y'all favorite TV shows, too? What y'all like to watch? What is good to watch? Since we locked in. And stuff. I'm trying to find something good to watch on TV or YouTube or Netflix, Hulu, whatever else out there. Tell me some good movies. I like scary movies, action movies, comedy. I like them all, but it's just like it got to catch my attention because once I got to watching YouTube and stuff, I don't watch TV. I don't watch nothing. Really, I'm more into it. I might watch a video, a movie off and on. Now, I've been watching hip, uh, what is it? Loving hip hop with my daughter. I think we watched it from the beginning to the end. And it seemed like when it got interesting, really, at the end, it was over. I was like, well, there's another one. She said, no, no more, no more, no more. But it was getting interesting. I just got, I hate to see women fight like that, though. I do. I hate that. But it was interesting. Because when I was young like that, I, I guess I would have done, you know, been the same way. But when you get older, things change. And things that when you were young that matters don't matter no more. Not like that where... You quick to fight or you quick to, well, with some people in the world, they, you still got some older ones that still do that. But where well, you don't judge or you don't talk about people and stuff, you pray for them. Now, if you see something wrong with them, you pray for them. 
whatever you think is wrong with that person, instead of putting negative vibes out there, pray for them. That's a, you know, that's the main thing. Always pray for them. Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. So, yep. Well, what is y'all favorite food and what would y'all like to see me eat? I don't want to really eat out, really, really, really. But I have off and on. I have done that. Uh, but tell me what you'd like to see me eat. Uh, I'm going to start today and start writing down uh, different uh, challenges, uh, different foods that I have seen other people eat on their show. So I'm going to catch up with that and do some stuff. I can't wait till we can really get out and enjoy and I can take y'all out shopping with me and stuff like that. So, y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. Protect your family. And try chicken and waffles if you haven't already. I am so silly. It's okay. Alrighty, y'all. I'll be checking with y'all later. And in the next video, we will be talking about positive things. But I don't know what I'm going to be eating. I don't. Or what I'll be doing. But anyway, we'll figure out something. So, stay blessed.